Welcome to our presentation on the Mayor Reproductive Trap. This will provide students with a step-by-step -step procedure of identifying the parts and functions of each part of the Mayor Reproductive Trap. This presentation was adapted with permission from the lecture of Dr. John J. Parrish, a professor of reproductive physiology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. At the end of the session, students must be able to identify the anatomical parts of the male reproductive tract and connect structure with function for the different parts of the male reproductive tract. This is the dorsal view of the male reproductive tract. These are the structures that can be found in the male reproductive tract, not shown in the figure. So from the outside, we have here the vulva, so that is the number one. Number two here represents the posterior vagina. And we also have here the anterior vagina, number three. Uh, this part here, number four, is the ovary. Number five is the urinary bladder. Number six is the cervix. And we also have here the uterine body, and uh, this part here represents the number eight, the uterine horn. So this is an image of the mare vulva. So the structures that can be found in the vulva of the mare is, of course, uh, number one here is the labia. Now we have here the the labia, not the labia majora, and inside is the labia minora. And at the ventral portion, we have here the uh, number two is the clitoris. And number three there represents the posterior vagina, or also known as the vestibule. So in this photo, the posterior vagina, the uh, posterior vagina of a mirror trap has been cut open. And you can see now that the vulva to the left side of the image. This part here is the vulva. So these are the structures that can be found in the cut portion of the posterior vagina. We have here, uh, number one, the posterior vagina, the inner surface of the posterior vagina. Number two represents the uh, vulva vagina sphincter. Number three is the opening to the anterior vagina. And number four is the urethra. We also have here another view of the structures that can be found in the mere posterior vagina. So again, number one represents the um, inner surface of the posterior vagina. Number two is the uh, this part here you now represents the vulva vagina sphincter. Number three is the opening to the anterior vagina. And we also have here at number four the urethra. This photo here represents the longitudinal cut now through the posterior uh, and the anterior vagina. Uh, this part here represents the uh, structures that can be found in the longitudinal cut of the posterior vagina and the uh, anterior vagina. So I'll we'll start with number one. The number one here represents the clitoris, and the upper part is the posterior vagina itself, not the inner surface. And number three represents the vulva vagina sphincter. At number four, the upper part, we have the anterior vagina. And we have here, last part, the topmost part is the cervix.